Woo! Stop delivering to unsafe neighborhoods. Gerard McClendon Live is back and we're discussing a community that can't even protect its UPS driver. Two people tried to hijack a UPS truck and when the driver refused and ran, he was shot in the back. Earlier it was pizza, now packages. Petty nonsense. Uh, rules everything around us. 630-575-TALK is the number. Dr. Tatum, I appreciate you being with us. Let me get some more phone calls, then I want to talk about reading for their life. Let me go to Angelique first. Angelique, thanks for calling GML. What's your comment, Angelique? Hi, I just wanted to say that I think it's what we see, these kids see on TV. They see a lot of these rappers with these big chains and these nice cars and these houses. They're talking about drug dealing and how they kill people to get what they want. And I think a lot of times these kids want, these people want to mimic that. Mm. They want to live this lifestyle. Yeah. And this is not realistic. No, it's not. Angelique, thank you so much for your call. We appreciate you. Let me get to Sinotra next. Sinotra, thanks for calling GML. What's your Hi, comment, Sinotra? Sinotra? Yes, I just wanted to say. It's not poverty anymore because poverty, if you were in poverty, there have, there are churches out here that give us food. Find out the days that they're giving away the food. Don't sit there and try to blame it on poverty because I've been broke a long time. That don't make it. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to steal. I'm going to shoot somebody in the head just to get a meal. That's not it. It's ignorant. That's for These real. kids are dropped out of school. They ain't got no parents in that home. Ain't nobody caring about them, so they don't care about nobody else. Wow, wow. Sinotra, thanks for the call. We appreciate you. Let me get to one more. Seth, thanks for calling Gerard McClendon Live. Seth, what is your comment? My comment is, how you doing, Gerard? Pretty good. My comment is, has anybody ever heard it takes a whole village to raise a child? Mm. And since most of the parents are either locked up in the Cook County Department of Correction or the Illinois Department of Correction, it's going to take more than just somebody saying something. I would like to know one more thing. What is the job description of an alderman? When are the aldermen going to come out into the community and service the constituents? Mm. They have to engage. There needs to be some advocacy Ooh. to stop this violence now. Wow. This don't make no sense. I feel you. Thanks for the call, Seth. We appreciate you. A mouthful, Dr. Tatum. I mean, it looks like people, they're not blaming this on poverty. It looks like they're rising to the occasion with you saying it's a lack of education involved. Yeah, we, we, we got to move beyond a, a victim mentality. I wrote you some time ago. We talked about a national health care model. I said we need a national literacy care model uh, in the city. Someone has to take a bold step. And what we're seeing is a product of parents who have been defaulted. And that's what the last caller was talking about. If we let this generation become defaulted by literacy and education, just just imagine what's going to happen to the next generation if we're seeing the explosion of violence right now. Mm. If we don't get this education thing right, we will continue to see blood drop on the city's asphalt. You know, Dr. Alfred Tatum, you have a brand new book coming out, Reading for Their Life. Tell us about that book and when it's coming out. Uh, it's coming out uh, next month, uh, all, the beginning of August. And it really focuses on how do you reconnect black boys with tech to shape a positive life outcome trajectory so they can define who they are, nurture resilience, build capacity, and engaging others. Hmm. Uh, historically, African American males have used literacy as a tool for collective struggle. Hmm. And that's what that book is really about. And I've used or conducted research with young men who are reading and writing their way out of violence. Those who live in Austin, Inglewood, uh, and other the communities who are being suffered, uh, who are being affected by this violence. Hmm. There, there are no more excuses, Gerard, but we have to understand the realities and be able to move our young people beyond them. You know, before you leave, I'm reading a statement from Dr. Carl Bell in his Keys to Reducing Violence. He says, provide access to ancient and modern technology to provide practical systems for the application of knowledge. Do you agree, Dr. Tatum? Oh, absolutely. Uh, when we become conscious of who we are, there's a possibility of good, but yeah. it's very hard to do that if we're not literate. Yes, sir. You heard it first from Dr. Alfred Tatum. He's got a new book coming out, Reading for Their Life. Thanks for being on Gerard McClendon Live, Dr. Tatum. I enjoyed it. All right. If you don't want to have to stoop so low as to rob UPS trucks, let me find some work for you. Who's hiring? It's the Exchange Luxury Auto Dealership. They are seeking a full-time digital photographer with PC and Mac skills. For more information and an application, go to www.cltv.com slash GML. More Gerard McClendon Live, two minutes.